This is kind of our over the top roof section. For me, I wanna cut it forward and elevated so it's nice and light so it can go back and not fall with any weight lines. Then I'm gonna layer around the face. I was inspired today to do a little bit of concave work. I'm gonna keep it as long as I can. With concave layering, we're gonna start in the back and I'm gonna work vertical sections and I'm gonna bring them straight up here. So we've got our, our parting on the side. So we split the front and the back, basically go here. So I'm gonna come straight out with the hair, but then I'm gonna scoop and create this scooped effect on the rest of the hair. So it'll come out here like that. Everything that I'm doing in the back here is gonna come straight back. So it's gonna create a squared back on the cut. So we're cutting a balanced horizontal line in the back and then concave layering throughout the back as well. And we're gonna work with a traveling guide. So it's vertical. You can see this section right down the middle there. And I'm gonna scoop the hair up. And now this is where you're gonna determine how much length do you wanna have. I don't wanna remove a ton, but I do want a lot of move. And I think that that's what concave for me will give me besides just removing weight. So I'm gonna come straight out from the head just like this. And then I'm gonna pivot my hand up, keeping the tension. And now I'm gonna cut short to long. So it starts to create uh, shorter pieces in that interior. Now I take another section right next to it and I'm gonna be pulling that hair to the middle. Pull the hair towards me. And then my last move, because I want this to start traveling across horizontally like this, my last move is gonna to be to push the hair away. So I wanna take the hair get it nice and tight at the base. And then my last comb is now gonna be like this, away from my body, slide my fingers up in, come out from the head, and then pretend like the top of your fingers gets trapped and then it kicks up from there. So it's a pivot point. So uniform back all the way across. All the layers are coming out to this point. This is where I start my cut and I cut up. And then we're cutting concave to this scooping motion throughout. So layers. So we went all the way across to the top here, bringing everything out, scooping it, cutting a horizontal line. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. My body position won't change. The reason my body position isn't changing because it leaves my elbow free. You'll know when your body position is correct, when your elbow has the freedom to move up and down. As you come out like this, try to keep that tension instead of dropping it. If you drop it, you might be able to hold on to the tension, but you'll never really know if you're right where you want it to be. There's just a little more room for error when you do that. So now we've created concave layers in the back. I call them balanced because it's a balanced line all the way across. The layers balance across horizontally. They can also say it's square. I just think sometimes when you think square, you're not thinking of just a line. The majority of the layering is here and then it gets weaker as we get to the bottom. If you wanna get yelled at on the internet, you leave this nice and weak at the bottom. So I'm just gonna cut a blunt line across the bottom, bring the hair back here. So you can see how nice that line looks now. Uh, even though we have a lot of layering, a lot of texture in there, that line still looks solid and that's really the goal. So now we're gonna work into the sides of the cut. This is gonna be cut in a condensed way. And then we're gonna cut this top section in two separate pieces. The tri-razor, so it's a triangular razor that cuts three different amounts of hair. So you've got 100% of the hair, you've got a texture 50 side that'll take 50% of the hair out, and then you have a texture 25 side that'll take 25% of the hair out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that to cut this side of the head. I like the freedom, the flow of a razor cut. In the back, I don't really necessarily always need to have a more of a razored feel. I can have a more structured feel. So now I comb the hair towards the front, towards me, just like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I really wanna kind of open the face up. So opening the face means basically pushing the weight off of it, right? So if I hold the hair here and I cut it, it's gonna push the weight. If I pull the hair back here and cut it, it's gonna push the weight forward. So I bring the hair forward. And then all I'm gonna do is just take the tri razor and this is the 100% cutting side and I'm gonna slide through the hair. That just creates a face frame just with one swipe. So now when I comb this hair out, you're gonna start to see that pop of layering that happens right around the face. I'll bring the rest of this hair towards the front here. I'll swipe one more time to connect to the back. 
So we'll take down the left side. We go here and we just swipe through. So here we go. We've got two sides, lots of texture, and now we're just gonna cut the tops. Yeah, I wanna lift this up, cut it at a precise point, and then I'll go in and decide what I wanna do after that. I'm gonna take a guide from this point here, just from the edge. I'm gonna elevate the hair up in the air and I wanna cut it with the round of the head. So up over top of the parting, and I'm gonna cut it a little bit longer than that guide because I just want a little extra length. And because I'm holding this 90 degrees this way and over 90 degrees this way, it's gonna be nice and light. So I don't have to worry about the disconnection stacking up. I'll go through here and I'm gonna point cut. It's important that this is 90 degrees, you know, both ways, cause you want it when she pulls it back to be nice and light. And then I'm gonna take this section down and I'm gonna do the same thing the opposite direction. Now, when you pull it back, you can flip it this way, get a little bit of extra volume in there, or you can come back the other way, kick it that way. And it'll be nice and light because when you cut it both ways, it was over 90 degrees in all directions. So it doesn't leave any weight line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and blow it dry and then we'll finish up this style. The top, I'm gonna round brush everything forward. This is Ergo round brush. We sell them on our shop as well. The reason I'm picking this is because I don't want my sections to be much bigger than that. So I'm gonna take those sections, pull them forward. Now, the larger the round brush, the less volume you get. A lot of people think it's opposite. Uh, so the larger the brush, the more smooth, the bigger section you can take, the more hair you have, but it just smooths the hair out. The smaller the brush, the more bend you get to the hair uh, and the more bend you get to the face.